Hi guys, it is a sunny day here in the end times on Monday morning, June, I don't know where we are, 6th or 7th, 2021, so, uh, I've been so heartbroken all fucking week that I've been denying my other heartbreak, and that is the heartbreak of what's going on in this garden, uh, Good Lord, so we planted this garden, well, most of the garden, we planted 15 days ago, 15 days ago. So let's look at our success rate. Now the spinach is pretty good. We have about a 50, about 50% 50 of the spinach has come up. I'm going to give it a few more days before overseeding. Maybe 50% of the spinach is up in 15 days. Uh, okay, the cilantro. The cilantro, we planted probably 50 cilantro plants. We have had exactly zero uh, germinate. We have a 100% failure rate on the cilantro. And then the goddamn cucumbers. We planted 42 cucumber plants. 42 cucumber plants 15 days ago. And a total of three of them. Three out of 42. 39 out of 42. Whatever that math is. They're fucking cucumbers. Now, there, there is a chance that the cucumbers did sprout and then something, most likely a slug, came and ate them. Uh, which is what is going on with one of the saddest stories. And this is the, these pole beans, you know, that I built this frame for. This line here, guys, should be a solid, unbroken, beautiful green line. And uh, these guys are getting absolutely hammered by these damn slugs at night. For some reason, they're not down here at the very end. So they're, they're starting to get eaten here. But this entire line should be, you know, looking like this all the way down. That should be an unbroken line of green. And these fucking slugs... So, uh, I tried the old trick. We tried the trick of putting boards down and hoping they would just climb under the boards, you know, when the sun started coming up. But apparently, what they're doing is just going under the weed cloth. That, well, I've just built them this giant condo, uh, just helplessly sitting here watching these damn slugs. I'm going to try the beer bait the uh, beer bait traps and see if they drown in the beer. Uh, good Lord, we're turning on our drip irrigation for the first time. This is one of one of the cucumbers that actually sprouted. So the drip irrigation seems to be working fine. Cornfield looks fine. Good looking cornfield coming along. Now, okay, over here, the biggest tragedy is the, are these uh, ambrosia cantaloupes, but, but even goddamn yellow crook neck squash. I planted the first six holes of these, so three of these, so I planted 18 crook neck squash seeds and, uh, it looks like one on the very end we had. No, here's the second one. No, wait a minute. Ah, oh, shit. I see the slug slime uh, on that uh, crookneck squash. So I don't know. Uh, it could be that these things are actually sprouting and, uh, and, and the slugs are eating them. The other thing. And this, the other tragedy, the, probably the biggest tragedy, are my ambrosia cantaloupes, which are not 
cheap. I don't know, I see the guy here, he is just, he came out in the last 20 minutes, so maybe I'm freaking out too soon. I ordered some more, so those look good, and they're getting their little drip irrigation on them. So we planted 30, 30 ambrosia cantaloupes, counting the one that hatched uh, in the last hour, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that one is a nine. We have nine out of thirty of the, uh, Ambrosia cantaloupes. Now the these little tomato plants. Those 45 cent tomato plants are looking fantastic. Not so. I don't know the peppers, which I got at the same place as the tomatoes, also for 45 cents. They don't have real good color. I don't know why those tomatoes have such good color. It looks like the the two Florida tomatoes that I kept are actually might have recovered. So unbelievable. Might actually get that. Potatoes are doing great. Onions are doing great. Garlic is doing great. Oops. You have to put together a a line. If you do this drip irrigation, you have to check. I don't want water all over my camera. You have to check your irrigation lines. Ugh, Lord, get on there, you fucker! It does not want to go on there. Is that gonna hold? Well, all right, I see where that cantaloupe sprouted and something chopped it right off. Probably the damn slugs. What else are our failures now? Goddamn sunflowers. Sunflowers we planted 15 days ago. Planted sunflowers, not a sign of a sprout. We have a 100% failure rate on the sunflowers. I mean, you can just drop sunflowers on the fucking ground and they sprout. We have a 100% failure rate on the zinnias. Now, there's a chance the zinnias are still coming up. So what happened after we planted, so we planted on a Sunday, on this beautiful day of planting, and then what happened three days, is it three or four days, on the fourth day after we planted, we had that bout of uh, midwinter weather. So at this critical time, at, on day four, you know, the temperature dropped like 40 degrees. And for, for what was it, like three or four days, the, uh, these beds were waterlogged with this uh, cold 40-something degree water. So they were just soggy 40 degree water for the fourth day after planting. So maybe that explains it. Maybe because of that, uh, cold snap at that critical juncture. I don't know guys, I'm, I, I have never had a garden in, uh, in New York of course. Now I did have a huge garden in uh, Eugene, Oregon for two summers which was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I had none of these problems in Eugene, Oregon. I have had gardens from Florida to Oregon. It's the Florida, Georgia, Texas, California, and Oregon. And uh, this 
is my single worst beginning of any garden I have ever had in my life. It is uh, between the slow start with that cold snap, I guess, and these goddamn slugs. Uh, I give myself, if, if I was grading myself in a master gardener class, I would be getting, giving myself a C minus. Corn, tomatoes, potatoes, onions, and garlic. I give myself an A on them, I guess, but everything else is just, it's just fucked. But anyway, we shall see, but right now, I am uh, failing as a, uh, as one more thing. So let's see, what have I, I've been here a month. Uh, let's see, I've had the woman I love reject me. Uh, we have not had one person make a reservation at the hip camp. We have not had one reservation. When I did that hip camp down in Florida, uh, I'm pretty sure it was the first week we put that thing in. We started having reservations uh, a month after we started that. You know, we were jamming at that hip camp. Not one single human being has made a reservation, you know, a real reservation uh, at the hip. The hip camp is a 100% failure. The love, my love life is a 100% failure. Uh, the garden is a 50 to 60% failure. I am really manifesting up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, anyway, no wonder uh, no one has come to visit over here. It bugs in a jar. The uh, the bugs are curling up and dying on this hot summer day. But we shall put in new seeds. I have already. I have overseeded the pole beans, and I've overseeded the cilantro, and I'm getting ready to overseed the cucumbers. Let's see. I overseeded the squash. I have the cantaloupes on order, um, so I'm going to oversee the cantaloupes, the cucumbers, the cilantro, the beans, probably the sunflowers. Not sure the jury's still out on the okra, the broccoli, the carrots, and the lettuce. Get out there and overseed while you still can, because we are so fucked. Bye guys.